Are you tired of posting on Instagram and TikTok just to see little to no sales? Well, I'm here to tell you there is a better way to drive traffic to your Shopify store without having to chase trends or gamble with paid ads. Well, the strategy is called SEO or search engine optimization. And I'm gonna show you step by step how to set this up for your Shopify store so when your ideal customer is searching for a product that you sell, your website actually shows up in search results. Now, if you're new here, my name is Antonio. I am a professional digital marketer and I am the proud owner of Prayed Up Apparel and I talk all things Shopify and marketing on this YouTube channel. Now, this very first step that I want to share with you is very foundational to the success of your SEO strategy, because without it, nothing else that I show you will work. And so the very first step that you want to do when it comes to implementing SEO for your Shopify store is doing keyword research. And all keyword research is, is finding out the exact keywords your ideal customers are typing into Google. Now to explain why keyword research is so important, I wanna ask you this one question. If you could have a physical retail location for your Shopify store, where would you have it located? Let me know in the comments down below. Now, for me personally, I would have my Shopify store in New York. I would have prayed up apparel in Times Square. I feel like if you own a fashion brand, New York makes the most sense, or maybe like Paris or LA, but most definitely I would want it in New York. And more than likely, you probably said a major city as well. Now, what you probably didn't say is that you want your Shopify store in Wyoming or in some random place in Utah. You know why? It's because if you have a physical location, location really, really matters, okay? And the same thing is true when it comes to your Shopify and your SEO strategy, okay? Picking the right keywords could mean the difference between getting tons of traffic to your Shopify store or getting no traffic at all. And so if you don't select the right keywords, you are completely wasting your time. And so you definitely wanna do your due diligence when it comes to selecting the right keywords to get the most out of your SEO strategy. Now, you may be wondering, how do you do this? Well, there are plenty of tools out there to help you figure out the right keywords and to figure out the keywords your ideal customers are using. Now, my favorite tools are SEM Rush and Google Keyword Planner. Now, for me, I always love the free 99 softwares, okay? And that's gonna be Google Keyword Planner. And that's where I recommend that you start off first. So the very first thing that you wanna do is go to the Google Keyword Planner. Now, I'll link it in the description down below. Once you select that link and sign in, you should see a page that looks like this, okay? And what you wanna do is select discover new keywords, okay? Now, what you wanna do is put in a keyword that is relevant to your business. So for example, let's just say that you sell beard oil, okay? So I'm gonna type in beard oil, and it's gonna show me the most relevant keywords for that particular um, uh, product, okay? So you're gonna select get results, and you're gonna see all of these keywords and relevant keywords. So the most relevant keywords is gonna average around 10,000 to 100K monthly searches. Now for this product, it looks like most of the searches average 10 to 100K. So I'm gonna select three. So in this case, my first one is going to be beard oil. The second one is gonna be beard growth. And the third one might be uh, best beard growth kit. So those are my three keywords. And I recommend that you write them down because you're gonna need these three keywords to add to your tags, 
your titles and descriptions. So make sure that you write these down. Now, when selecting your keywords, you want to keep it to two or three. The more keywords that you use, the more confused Google gets. So you want to limit it to three max. And then also you want to make sure when you're selecting these keywords that you're picking keywords that are very relevant to what you sell on your Shopify store. So now that you have your keywords, you are now ready for the second step, which is optimizing your product pages and your collection pages with the keywords that you just found. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now, step by step. Now, the very first place that I recommend that you start is your product pages, okay? Your product pages are your money makers, so you wanna start optimizing those and prioritizing those ASAP, then go to your collection pages and so on and so on, okay? Now, when it comes to the title of your product pages, this is where you wanna use your primary keyword. So in this instance, our primary keyword is beard oil, and you can jazz this up if you like, okay? Now, when it comes to your product descriptions, this is where you wanna use your other two secondary keywords, okay? And if you don't know how to write product descriptions, I recommend that you use my personal best friend, okay? Chat GPT, you can have them write product descriptions for your uh, product and put in the two secondary keywords and it will write a fabulous product description for you. And that's all you need to do. The third thing you need to do is write your image alt text. Now, honestly, this is one of the most overlooked things when it comes to SEO. And essentially all this is, is telling Google what your images are, okay? At this current moment, Google, does not know or can't see your images um, as it stands. So you have to tell Google what your images are and you do that by writing in the image alt text, okay? But this is very easy to do. So all you have to do is click your image and see this box right here, it says alt text. This is where you put in your primary keyword. So you just wanna describe your image and then you just wanna give it the angle okay so it's front facing this is a front facing product image and you want to say either side or back right when it comes to your product images because you might have different angles of your product so you just want to let google know what angle the uh product image is and then you want to hit save so the last piece of the puzzle when it comes to your product page SEO is writing in your search engine listing. Now, again, for your title, you want to use your primary keyword and for your description, you want to use your secondary keywords. And all of this can be written by chat GPT. Um, so it's very, very easy to do. And also for your URL handle, you want to use your primary keyword. And then once you have this written in, you are all done with SEO on your product page. So once you've gone through all your product pages, you repeat the process for your collections pages. So as you can see here, still using the primary keyword for my collection page, right? Title, same thing for your description. And then at the bottom, you repeat the process for your search engine listing. So same thing here, page title under $100 build or collection. You write your meta description that's under 160 characters, and then you input your URL handle, okay? Now, another space that you wanna optimize for SEO is under your online store and preferences, okay? And this is where you wanna put your homepage title and your meta description as well and upload your logo so same theory with this as well you want to use a primary keyword for your page title and you want to use your secondary keyword for your meta descriptions okay so now that you finish optimizing your website there are two really techy things that you have to do if you want to get the most out of all the hard work you just put into your shopify store okay the first one is submitting your sitemap okay 
all your site map is, is the file structure of your website, okay? And this just allows Google to understand your website and find your content more easily. Now, the great thing about Shopify is that it has already created this file for you. So all you have to do is go to googlesearchconsole.com, sign in, put in your information, and then it's going to ask you to submit your sitemap. And all your sitemap is, is your domain name slash sitemap.xml. So once you've submitted your sitemap, the second thing that you want to do is just to make sure that everything is directed to your main domain name. So when you sign up for Shopify store, your Shopify store has a couple of domain names. Um, there's going to be the one that Shopify gave you. They're going to give you your www.com domain main, and then it's just going to be your name.com. Okay. But you want to make sure all your domain names are pointed to your primary domain name. This just makes sure that Google knows that everything goes to this main domain name and it just improves your SEO. And to make sure that this is set up correctly, you want to go to settings, go to domains. And if it's not set up correctly, you're going to see redirect everything to the main domain name. As you can see on mine, all my domains are going to prayedupapparel.com. So this is set up correctly. Now at this point, you know the best way to drive as much high quality traffic to your Shopify store 100% for free. But I'm here to tell you, sometimes SEO doesn't really grow your Shopify store as fast as maybe I would want it. And so if you're trying to figure out a way to scale your Shopify store as fast as humanly possible, I recommend that you check out this video right here.